<laughs> Good morning. It's about eight o'clock a.m. in the morning, and uh, I decided this morning. Well, I actually decided yesterday but didn't film until today, but I decided to make some focaccia bread. I've been kind of obsessed with it lately. And so I did a test batch a couple of days ago and it turned out pretty well, but I wanted to make it better and add more and do more. So um, I'm gonna be using a recipe, I forget where I got it from, but I'll link it below. Um, and I wanted to kind of try their version of it to see if it was better than the one that I had tried the previous day and add some stuff to the top. So I thought I would film and uh, show y'all what it's like and how it goes. And if it works, then maybe y'all could make it. Um, but before I do anything, as you can see, I'm a little bit groggy. Uh, I need some coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some coffee right now. And uh, I should have ground my coffee in advance, but I didn't, so pardon the sound. <laughs> Now I can start the day. Um, while I was making this, I also pulled out my KitchenAid. So let's uh, switch angles and try to make some bread. So this recipe that I'm making called for a starter to be made in advance. And uh, that is what is in here. It's basically, I think it's just like a cup and a quarter of flour and some yeast and water. And it's been going, I'd say probably about 20 hours now. Half that time has probably been in the fridge. So um, it's pretty much ready to go. Hopefully it's come back to room temperature, but um, this is going to be going in the mixer along with some more flour and some more yeast. I'm not sure why you needed the starter if you add more yeast, but maybe it has to do with the development of flavor. So, um, oh, also water. I think I need warm water for that. So I'm gonna pull up the recipe on my phone here and then um, we can start mixing some stuff up. So the recipe, I just looked it up here, is from Food and Wine Magazine, focaccia with roasted squash. So I have the starter done as uh, one and a quarter cups flour, three quarter cups water, one and one eighth teaspoon yeast. So for the dough, we're gonna need some olive oil, which I have. Two and a half cups flour, three quarter cups of water, uh, more yeast, and some salt. So. Sorry, it was a weird <laughs> instruction here. Grease a large bowl with olive oil in the bowl of a standing mixer. Okay, so I can do that in a minute. So. With a dough hook, combine the starter, flour, water, and yeast. Let's do that. It smells like bread already. Probably should be weighing this or something, but. So I just used the half cup measurement that whole time, but uh, so what, two and a half cups, five half cups. So I think that's good. Forgot I already had it out. calls for tepid water, so I'm just putting 
that three quarters of a cup of water in the microwave for maybe 20 seconds, 15 seconds. Let's do 30. Uh, we're gonna mix this for eight minutes and then uh, we let it rest for 20 minutes before we add the salt. too late for that, but. So that's what it looks like after the eight minutes. Um, not the best lighting. So I'm gonna wait the 20 minutes, cover it with this towel, sip my coffee, and uh, we'll be back and put some salt in it. It seems a bit, compared to the last one that I made, it seems a bit um, firm. I hope there's enough water in there. Um, I think it'll relax a little bit though as it waits this 20 minutes. So I'm not gonna add anything to it or change anything. I'm gonna follow the recipe. Um, let's hope it comes out, so I'll see you in 20 minutes. That felt like a fairly long 20 minutes, but uh, it looks like the dough has relaxed a little bit. I'll show you after I put the salt in, but um, yeah, now it's time to just add the salt. One tablespoon plus one teaspoon. And then uh, it's gonna go for another eight minutes. It's relaxed a lot. So the eight minutes is up. Uh, I'm not really, I feel like I'm, I did something wrong. Uh, the dough just doesn't seem like it's the best texture. Um, like it's not bad. I mean, it's, I feel like it's got the good spring to it. Um, I just, I feel like a focaccia dough is a little bit runnier. And uh, it was also like breaking up into smaller pieces as I was trying to mix this, so. Anyways, I'm gonna switch this into a greased bowl. So this bowl just has some olive oil in it. Obviously this recipe is something you'd wanna do if you had like a completely free day. So I'm just gonna kinda of form it into a ball. Put it into the oil. And then my smart oven actually has a proofing setting, so it's already, well it was on. Let me turn it on again. So it's going to proof in that smart oven for one hour. I mean, I think it'll be okay. I don't think it's uh, a complete fail. I just, I question whether or not it's got the right texture, which is gonna have, allow it to raise right so that it, ends up being the right type of focaccia. So uh, this is gonna go in the smart oven for an hour. And then I think we basically form it at that point and then it needs to hang out for another hour. So, uh, but there's some time in between where uh, we'll make the stuff that we're gonna put on top. So I'll see you back here in an hour. <laughs> Awkward angle here, but uh, it's been an hour, the dough has proofed. 
I actually love having a oven that I can do this with because it just, I feel like it makes the proofing process go a lot faster. So that's it after an hour. It does smell really nice and for lack of a better word, yeasty. So uh, let's put it on a baking sheet. It's got another hour to go, but at least during that hour, we can be fairly active and uh, prepare the toppings. So. Uh, a little bit blown out here. Um, we started this process at like 8 a.m. It's like 10 now. So this is definitely, a, even though it's not a lot of active time per se, it still is time. Wow, my face is really bright. So I'm going to diverge, yeah, from the recipe and uh, kind of go with what I did before, which is as opposed to the recipe calls for making two eight inch circular breads. I'm gonna just be making one larger one. And this is a nine by 13 baking sheet. So I'm going to use this and uh, starting out, I need to just put a little bit of olive oil in here. And just a note, this is not an oil-free recipe by any means. And focaccia bread is full of oil and that's what makes it taste delicious. So you're kind of either in it or you're not. So, um, we're in it here today. So we're gonna be using quite a bit of olive oil. So I'm going to dump the dough on top. And my goal here is to not only deflate it, but I'm going to try to spread it out in this baking sheet. You notice I'm using my fingertips. Also, uh, you want the dough to be a bit dimply, and that's so that when you go and pour more olive oil on top, that the oil sits in those little recesses. I think that looks pretty good. Um, it should be covered with a piece of plastic wrap. I'm going to try to do it with just a towel. I hope I do not regret that. Um, I just don't wanna use the plastic wrap. So I'm going to cover this with a towel and this needs to hang out for an hour so that it can rise. But like I said, during that time, we're gonna prepare the butternut squash topping. I'm also going to preheat the oven to 400. Heated, so these are going to go in for 15 minutes. It has been 15 minutes, so I'm going to take these out. And I don't want them to be too, I want them to be soft and pliable. I don't want them to be overcooked though, because they will be browning on top of the picacha. And what I want to do is just remove these to a plate so they can cool, and also so I can reuse this pan 
Uh, I ended up cutting up the other part of the squash and I'm just gonna roast that off now while these cool. It's gotten a lot brighter. It is uh, probably around 10.30ish now, not even sure. Um, I'm, I don't need to check. But the dough, I believe, is ready to go. So let's unveil. Has a nice rise. And uh, what I want to do now is just go ahead and place the butternut squash onto the surface of this. And I want to, I think I want to try to do like a flower type thing. So let's see if that works. Kind of uh, do a little spiral. Mm, doesn't seem to want to go in. Maybe just some twists. I want to give it a little bit of height and I want there to be some bits that are going to brown. And I know that the bread is going to kind of engulf some of it, but I guess we'll sort of do it just like the recipe and just do some nice twists. I think that looks pretty good. There's, oh, I'm really blown out. Um, I think it looks pretty good. The uh, This is gonna bake for probably about 30 minutes. And then um, I'm gonna top it with some fresh thyme. So, you know, let me rinse off and then we'll throw it in the oven. Almost forgot one thing. I wanna do just a little bit of drizzle of olive oil. and some salt. Now it's ready for the oven. So we're ready to put this beauty in. I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes. It's currently at 450. So I'll check it probably at about 20 minutes. See how it is. 30 minutes is up. Actually, it was in there for about 32 minutes. And if I can grab it. It looks beautiful. So this needs to just hang out for a few minutes to cool, and then we're going to drizzle it with, I'm thinking of maybe putting a little drizzle of maple syrup on it, but it also needs some fresh thyme. So uh, let's wait a minute for it to cool. So I didn't really have to wait. I just kind of reset the camera. Uh, so I have some fresh, time here and I'm just going to, I don't think I'm going to cut it. I think I'm going to just try to kind of de-stem it and then sprinkle the fresh thyme around. Oh, it smells amazing. So I really love this sort of color that this has. It has a beautiful golden brown. Uh, it doesn't appear to be too oily. The oil gets absorbed into the bread, but again, that's kind of the the beauty of focaccia bread is that it's soaked with oil. Um, I wanna try another version of this too that I use tomatoes, kind of more like a pizza. This time is amazing. So the original recipe called for a bit of maple, uh, sorry, honey to be drizzled on top. And I'm just gonna add a tiny, Bit of maple syrup, just the smallest little drizzle. So I took a few photos and uh, I've moved it to a cutting board here. It's beautiful, it smells incredible. So now I'm going to take a little taste. I'm 
know if you can see here, I have the autofocus on, so let's see if I touch the screen, if that'll help it. So it's got a really nice texture. Bottom is nice and golden brown. Oops. So the previous uh, recipe that I did for this bread that I tried, it, it did not have, uh, I didn't wait. It didn't have the starter. I basically just made it. In terms of whether or not I think it's worth it to do the starter step, I think so. This is so good. Um, it just has a slight, more like pizza dough flavor to it. It just has a richer flavor to the crust. And uh, I think the texture is a bit better also. It's so good. So, um, well, that's it for today. Hope you, hopefully you, like this style of video. I wanna to try to do more like this where I just kind of, um, let me grab a napkin. Where I just kind of um, either try out recipes or just cook. I know that most of the style of my, my cooking in my, in my daily life is just pretty much going in the kitchen and seeing what I have. And if I, uh, you know, looking up recipes, if I have the ingredients, I test it out. And um, I don't know, I kind of, like that style of cooking for myself. So I'd like to do more of those style of videos for this channel. So if you like this kind of video, let me know and I'll, you know, less formal, I guess. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you have not yet already. Thank you for watching. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any requests for the holidays. This would be, I mean, it took probably about three to three and a half hours to do this today, uh, about five minutes yesterday. But um, this is a really great dish to bring to a holiday party. And um, I would say you could probably serve eight to 10 people with this as like a side to pass around the table. I don't know, it's really good. So um, subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet, like this video. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna share this one, but I'll see you next time. Hey.